G'day and welcome to another episode of Life on the Lake Run. Now, this morning I'm going to um, replace this tyre on the inside jewel here. Um, now, one on there is getting quite bally and the, yeah, the canvas is starting to show through, so I thought it's, I thought it's time I should, uh, should put a new one on there. Um, I only sort of run usually second hand tyres on this truck, especially on the back, um, because um, in the rocks here you get rocks jammed down in between the jewels and if if it's there for any length of time then then it'll yeah you'll like you wreck these tires pretty quick on the back so that's why i don't sort of spend too much money on on tires on the back here just because the risk of, of wrecking them in the rocks i always pull up and check um every so often that there's no rock jammed in there and 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 if there is you've got to get a bar in there and and prize it out um so yeah, so I'm going to put another tyre on on here, and then I'm also going to um, this is this uh, exhaust pipe is broken off here as well. So I've got um, out of my collection of spare parts, I I found this this um, a bit of exhaust pipe here with this clamp on it, and I'm going to pull that clamp off and and put it on the the cracked um the cracked exhaust pipe so um hopefully it'll work i've put the verniers on it and it looks like it's gonna gonna be a good fit so i'll pull that off and and put it on the exhaust pipe as well so that's a couple of things i'm going to do with the lick truck here this morning so we'll get into it there's a couple of tricks here i'd like to show on this wheel um for those of you who don't know um there's on these older model um, trucks, they had left hand thread on the left hand side and that was to stop the, the wheels coming coming off when you're driving down the road, which was a really good idea. More modern day trucks have right hand thread on the left hand side, just like a normal car. And, um, and they will fall off from time to time, whereas these left hand thread on the left hand side never seem to fall off. You will see on the ends on the ends of the um like on the ends of the on the ends of the studs here they have an l and that's to tell you that it's left hand thread so the other thing that i'd like to show is you have to have two different wheel spanners so i've got um this one here just a three-quarter drive um breaker bar and then there's this other one here that's got you just put the hole, you've got the holes here where you just put put a bar through there and it's got the square drive on the end. So I'll take a closer view of the nuts and I'll explain what I'm talking about. Okay, so you might be able to see that there. Um, so you've got the outside, the outside nut holds on the outside wheel and then you've got this inside nut which is the square drive and that holds on the inside wheel. So you've got two lots of nuts to undo. Um, normally you'll have like, uh, so that's your square square drive there and that fits on to the inside nut. But then normally you have the same wheel spanner at, which will fit the outside one, but I don't have the right size. So that's why I've got to have two different, two different wheel spanners here. I just use this one just for the square drive alone. So that's the outside wheel off. Now it's time to undo the nuts on the inside wheel. Um, the, there's both fours and against for having this system. Um, one, one thing is if you're only taking the outside wheel off, you only have to do the outside nuts and the inside jewel stays on there. So what you can do is you can just get a block of wood and sit on the ground in front of the inside jewel and just drive it up onto that 
and then you can just take off your outside jewel so you don't have to put the jack under it or anything it's a lot quicker but um, with this system it's a lot slower than normal um, if you're trying to get onto the inside jewel like we're doing today so there's fours and against for for both having the normal system where you've got the one nut for both jewels and this system where you've got two nuts for the two different wheels Okay, so this is what the in, inside nuts look like. Um, so it's just got the hole up the center for the stud on the hub, and then you got the thread on the outside of this where the outside nut fits over, and then you got the square drive on the end here. And that, that's the L I was talking about before for the left hand thread. that's a tire there that we've got to replace um, now whether you can see the camera showing but it's quite quite bally here in places so we'll wheel it into the shed and we'll put a new tire on the rim <music> this same tube now I just like to do a bit of wire brush work just around the the rim, especially where the split rim sits, just makes it seat a lot deeper and a lot safer. Now I just like to put a bit of rim grease on these um, on these split, split rims. You've got to be careful where you put the rim rim grease because you don't want to put it on the split rim, otherwise that can make it um, like jump off as you as you're pumping it up and then. Yeah, that can be pretty dangerous. So I just put the rim grease around this this bead on the on the rim here, so that that keeps it away from from the from the split rim, and that just makes it easier when it's pumping up. Then it, it comes onto the bead a lot better.
so that's all done. Now it's time to go and put it back on the truck. The trick with these um, these truck these dual truck rims, um, these holes here in the in the rim, you got to make sure that one of them lines up with the valve stem on the inside dual, so that when you go to pump the inside dual up when it's on the truck, you can poke the the uh, the air fitting through one of these holes to get to the inside valve stem, but. Um, in saying that, you don't want the two valve stems, the inside one and the outside one, in the same hole because it's it's usually too crowded in there to um, to pump them both up if they're on the same hole. So you want to make sure that you can get to the inside jewel's valve stem through a hole, but not the same hole as the outside jewel. So that's just a trick to keep in mind when you're putting on the outside jewel. Okay, so I've slipped that slip slipped that onto the onto the studs and you look through there and the holes aren't lining up for the inside jewel, so I'll just have to pop it back off, turn it a bit and then work out where a hole lines up for the inside valve stem. Okay, so that's good there now. Both valve stems line up with the hole in the rims. So we'll put the nuts on. Okay, so we got that done. Now I'm gonna have a go at um, fixing the exhaust pipe where it's cracked off. Okay, so that's the clamp there that I'm hoping to use. So we'll jump underneath the truck here and we'll I'll show you what's wrong. Okay, so you might be able to see that there. It's just broken off here like that. You can see all the smoke here where it's been puffing past. Um, there's a bit of flexi, flexi exhaust pipe here and it's broken off right there where it joins into the, the normal um, fixed exhaust pipe. So I'm hoping just to put the clamp straight around there like that and that'll hold it together and that should work a bit better. Okay, so I'm just putting a bit of high temperature anti-seize on these bolts so that if I want to undo it in the future I'll be able to. Pretty happy with that. It's fairly tight. I'll just have to see how it goes now. All right. Well, there's just a few quick repairs that I've done on the truck this morning. I thought I'd show. So that's about all I got on this one for now. I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.